Dear friends, welcome to my video. In this video, I'll show you how to create your own QR code or barcode scanner app. So let's begin. First, we'll create as usual a very simple layout. I think I'll name it as my QR code barcode scanner. You can name anything to your app as per your wish. Click finish. It may take some time uh, to create your ID in the Android Studio, so please uh, wait. Once your ID gets created, this kind of interface should appear. So first and foremost thing, what we'll do is in the Gradle of application file, we'll have to include one of the implementation which is required or which will be required to create this because the default libraries which are available in Android uh, development may not have uh, the necessary APIs required for this uh, QR code or uh, barcode scanner so you have to go to your uh, build.gradle at the app level and then uh, at, in the dependency just add one implementation implementation so make sure you type the things correctly journey apps is from judging library android embedded and then you can go for the latest version which is available you just do a google of this particular uh, uh, library which is uh, latest available and then you can just go for this latest i think right now it's 4.0.2 which was released last year in uh, 2019 late 2019 somewhere around so once you've done it just click on the sync now button and it may take again some while to sync your uh, app and include this for, depending upon your uh, net connection and everything so once it's synced it will just tell you it's synced successfully otherwise it will give some error over here or uh, you can also see in the down over here if it's not synced properly it will give some error so you don't post it please don't post it unless it's synced properly so once done this we'll move to the second step which is which is to design our layout so again i'll keep the layout design very simple so the default text view i will leave it as it is probably i'll just give a id to this because this is the place where we will display our results so i can just say results or results appear uh, appear here yeah so you can uh, so this is like a kind of hint or the default text which appears so you can uh, leave it as per your uh, requirement or you can type as per your requirement so once done that i think i'll just increase the size of this a little bit so it, that it looks good and for the text i think i'll make the text in the center so you can go you can just type text in the search bar and in your text alignment just click on the center so that it comes to the center part and probably i'll also increase the size of this text so by default it's 14 sp i'll increase it to 24 sp you you can uh, yeah choose whatever you want to do over here so once done that the other thing i will need is a probably a button to invoke or uh, to start the uh, scan so this uh, button i'll keep it here and a scan so this is i don't know why dot cancel here i think uh, I should type it again yeah so now it says a scan here and that I will leave it as it is. of course put constraints to this so that it gets uh, anchored to a particular position this I'll bring it probably a little bit further up and that's all this button callback of course we'll have to give uh, on click method which will do give once our Java code is ready so there are few uh, strings which we use like a scan and all so we have to create a resource for them so just click on this fix and it will uh, android will do it automatically for you so once your layout is ready we can just uh, start the emulator in parallel so that it uh, creates this uh, layout or we can see this layout and before we jump into our java code uh, one more thing which we may which we will need to do is in the manifest file we'll need to grant access to camera for this particular app because this app uh, will require the access to camera so no 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 this is wrong i think yeah so this uses permission and permission of camera that's it because of course uh, while scanning it will need the access to the camera and uh, most more uh, specifically you can design whether you want to use the front camera or the back camera but uh, you can choose what you want to do okay so now we'll get into java code before i get into anything first i'll uh, define uh, on click method for that button a scan button so i'll just use public wide a scan button uh, you can name it anything again as I, I will repeat 
so yeah so before i do anything for uh, it's asking me to press alt enter to include the necessary package for this view so it will include include android view view that's fine so before i include get into the logic of this i'll first go back to the xml file and in this scan button i'll go to this on click method over here and uh, associate this on click method to the scan button the new method which we just don't define over here perfect so once done this what else we will need is we will need a private uh, or a uh, local variable to this class which gets associated to this particular text view so we will just create a text view yeah this one text view and i don't think there is anything else which you require as of now and over here we'll associate this text view find view by id r dot id dot text view because text view is the id which we gave in our layout if you remember so if i go back to the layout if you remember over here we entered the uh, on the top the text view id so this id should be associated in the java code we'll so you close this xml file because we don't need it, need it any, uh, anymore so apart from this text view what else we can do is on in our own create method is we can uh, give the permission uh, to use camera so we can uh, request a permission from our user so that we can do using activity compact dot request permission and the context will be our this present context this particular class and then in new string and we have to ask the permission for camera so manifest dot permission dot camera yes so and then the request code will be to grant the permission so that will be package manager dot permission granted perfect so once done this i think uh, doing the own create method it will associate this text view to this text view in our uh, layout and it will also make sure that we get the permission from our uh, user to seek or to access the camera so once done this now our code is will put our main logic so logic remains uh, becomes is very simple for this there is something called uh, intent um, integrator integrator yeah so sometimes it may pop up directly over here that uh, this belongs to that uh, the library or the implementation which we just know in included in this gradle file which is uh, our jdrinks uh, android library if it does not so what you can do is after typing this you can just go to this uh, red where it gives hints and it gives whether you want to import this class so of course just click on this and it will import the required class to your particular uh, uh, or, or, or to your particular code so once you have defined this then you can create a variable of this class and new integ integrator that's it and apart from this the what you have to do is you have to just initiate a scan there are lots of properties uh, on this particular uh, object so i'll just i'll not uh, do everything but i'll just show you what you can do is you can set desired barcode formula or the barcode uh, uh, barcode formats and the camera id so say for example if you want to scan using the front camera then make sure you set the camera id as the one and not zero uh, but by default it will take the zero which is the back camera and one is for the uh, front one then you can set the barcode format which format you want to enable the other options are whether you want to have the desired barcode format or yeah so there are lots of options you can just uh, go through orientation lock whether you want to lock the orientation in a vertical or horizontal format or landscape format then you have to request code and there are various options so i will not get into details but yeah you should you should uh, definitely uh, scan through these options uh, one of the important one is probably i can show you is uh, uh yeah barcode image enabled so you can you know, make this false or true based on like what is your requirement whether you want to capture the image also or not by default i think it's uh, set false but yeah you can you can explore that to keep the code simple in this tutorial i'll just i won't use any particular uh, uh, property over here i'll just uh, go straight uh, 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 or I will just initiate the scan directly on the newly object, created object. There is some red er error is over here is what I can see. Let me see what is the error. So if I go over here, it says we have to give some kind of activity as the argument. So activity will be nothing but this activity, the present activity on which we are working. Okay. 
so once done this i think more or less our code is done now what we can do is we can see the results what we get on activity result of this particular uh, intent when we initiate the scan so for that what we can do is we can uh, protected void if you just type protected it will give you hints so you can just uh, have this on activity result so it's it will override the default uh, method and over here you can get your result so there is something called intent so in in intent again type intent result i think this class also we will have to import so just uh, expand this uh, hint uh, bulb or just press alt enter and it will give you the list of the hint and click on this import class and it should import the required class uh, uh, over here uh, so once done that what you can do is you can just initiate or create a variable of this particular object intent result and over here this will be nothing but we have to pass the activity for this particular and then we have the arguments will be request code result code and intent which is exactly same what we got in this uh, activity so we can use the same request code and then result code is same as real code and the intent is nothing but data which we get uh, data over here yeah so once we have this intent result we can check whether this intent result is uh, null or not because if it's not null that means our uh, job is done so we'll just check whether it's not null and if it's not null then we should uh, scan or get the contents of this intent result and that will be our text which we have to display over here so we'll just uh, scan the this intent result get contents dot get contents and if this is null no, this should be, I mean, we have to check this so there should be double uh, equal to sign if this is null then what we get uh, we have to do is i don't know why it went dark probably it was timed out so yeah i have to uh, wake it up it went to sleep mode probably so yeah so text view dot set text and what we can we can probably type cancel or something like error but i'll just type cancel but you can choose what you what you want to print in case the intent is working but the content is uh, null that means it has not been able to scan a particular uh, barcode or a qr code successfully okay so if it, this is equal to null then it will print a uh, cancel otherwise else what it will do is it will print in text view dot set text the content what we got here so that will be nothing intent result dot get contents and i think that's it so it will uh, print the uh, content over here so that's it uh, i don't think there's anything else to be done uh, rest of the code we can leave it as it is uh, because yeah, yeah. and uh, so if you see once we have restarted it's asking for the permission to take uh, pictures of course allow it and once i click a uh, scan i am not expecting expecting it to work of course i was not expecting and the reason for that is because uh, in the emulator of course uh, the camera won't work this is a virtual camera which uh, the emulator gives so over here but you see the same kind of layout you should see in your real phone and uh, uh, yeah and then you have to scan or uh, you have to put your qr code or the barcode inside this so then it will scan and give you the results so what i'll do is to test the app i'll create some uh, qr code from uh, one of my own apps of QR code and barcode which I have cre created previously and I'll show you and uh, then I'll use my real phone to test this particular app which I have developed just now and also I'll put the images of uh, the results the results which we'll see just now on my website programmerworld.co uh, for this particular uh, app base okay so I'll pause for the time being while I trans uh, transfer this app okay first I will have to build this app also of course so that I, I get the APK and then I'll uh, transfer this APK to my mobile phone and then install that APK so that I have the app running in my uh, actual real phone and then I'll uh, test it and I'll uh, put the uh, images on my website so I'll pause for the time being perfect so what I did was uh, I paused the uh, video and I have transferred the APK file to my mobile phone and I have installed the app on my uh, phone so let's uh, begin some testing so for first testing what I have done is I have uh, already created or searched few images on my on uh, Google so uh, I searched uh, even uh, QR code and barcode both so first we'll start with the QR code so let's uh, scan uh, the first QR code 
so i have started the app on my real phone and and i scanned this particular first uh, this particular qr code which is nothing but for the qr code for wikipedia dot org and i get that uh, text the moment i scan it it immediately return me that particular text and displayed it particular uh, in this particular uh, window so let me um, close this yeah so when i scan it the text is appearing in the text box over here it is appearing cancel because in the emulator we couldn't uh, scan anything so i go back here probably i'll scan uh, another one i'll scan uh, this uh, second qr code which i got over here so let me scan it so i scan and it return hello so this particular qr code is for hello and this is for uh, wikipedia org so i'll uh, post the screenshot of the results both on my of both this qr code on my website so similarly i'll do for this barcode probably i'll take uh, uh, one of this barcode probably i'll take this first one again and uh, scan the first one and let's see what it returns so it returns the number 0360029145 okay so this is the number which is displayed here below so that's what the value i'm getting in my layout in the text view in the text box so i will uh, scan one more probably i'll scan this uh, third one so let me see what what this returns so uh, scanning this third one it returns a number 12345678 so <coughs> it does not returns me this a so probably in this qr code this double a what uh, the starting a and end, end a is not uh, included so it just includes uh, just returns me this number from 1 to 0 okay so that's I, i'll put all the results of the all the this uh, uh, results on my website so please refer to it also what i can do one thing quickly is in my one of my previous videos i have created one of the uh, like tutorial to generate the barcode or even qr code so i'll use one of my own app to generate the barcode say for example i'll say hello programmer world so i'm uh, generating the barcode for my particular uh, text and let me see if my app is able to uh, scan that or not so i'm, I'm scanning it using the uh, app from my real phone so it's taking long time perfect so when i scanned it it though it took some time but i had to refocus like i have to move my phone uh, near and far but then it was able to scan it and uh, display hello programmer world so perfect for that so as i told i'll put all this screenshot on my uh, uh, website programmerworld.co so please refer to that for the results so that's all i wanted to show you the steps are very simple you have to just create this intent integrator uh, object and then initiate the scan so you, this will uh, make uh, leave all the properties of this intent integrator uh, default if you want to set then go to this intent integrator and then uh, do that dot set and uh, set all the properties what you want say for example if you want a beep noise or not true or false or image capture and all, all the other things please note this intent integrator is a part of this uh, jetdings android library so you should include this uh, in the dependency of your uh, gradle file at the app level so once you have included and sync the gradle file successfully you should be able to get this uh, objects or get this uh, uh, methods uh, to which you can uh, use to create your objects of your requirement and in the on activity results of this particular intent you can get the result and then scan the result to get the uh, contents or the text which is being displayed so this same method can be used for both barcode and qr code this is the one particular uh, uh, api which you which can scan both the uh, things qr uh, barcode so please use it so i hope this video was uh, this information is useful to you the layout i have kept it very simple but you can design as per your requirement and uh, i hope this video is useful if you have any questions or suggestions then please put in the comment section and if you like this video then please 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 subscribe to my channel I will I will repeat at the end that I'll post all this code source code and uh, the results which I have tested just now on the uh, on this video on my website so please refer to it thank you for watching and have a nice day bye